Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video finds you well. If you're new, well, hello. My name is Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff with nail stuff and stuff she does with nails. Stuff with nail stuff and stuff for nails. <sighs> I'm doing another bunch of rainbows today because I feel like in the summer I have to do rainbow sets. I don't know why. I might not do any more. Um, <laughs> and also, summer is meant to be sunny. And with rainbows, you need rain, you know? If you want the rainbow, you've got to part with the rain. Uh, in which case, no, I'll take a hard pass. Although I am the type of person who would stop my car and take a picture of every rainbow I see. But anyway, so we're doing some rainbows. We did a coat, two coats of blossom and I've cured that and I'm going to I'm going to tell you how I'm doing the first one and then the rest are all kind of done in the same vein with regards to curing and that sort of thing so we'll get the boring stuff out the way and then we'll just I don't know guillotine the breeze so I've cured the <laughs> I've cured the blossom and I've used wild violet these are all gel perfection polishes and I half cured wild violet, so just for 30 seconds, but a half cure might be different depending on which brand you use. So just half the time of a full cure. And then I'm doing sort of a French, but taking it up really high on the left side and then putting the blue and then the green and then I'll do, 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 do yellow, orange and pink. Um, but I am cu half curing each of these colors in between. I just cut out the bit where I go off screen to cure. Uh, is that it? Am I caught up? I think I'm, I think that was all I needed to say about that. <laughs> um, yeah, why do I, why do I think that I have to do rain? I suppose just because bright summery colours um, and a way to get them all on together is to do rainbows. But I have got some ideas for other videos. It's just being in the right mood to do them. So this is Peach Martini and then the pink is Flamingo beach or is it flamingo pink i put it on screen and i'll also put the um, products in the description box oh we've got a lovers and haters today and i've got two haters two so i'm just i'm going to save one for the next video i don't know which one to do today i think i'll do the one that was um in spanish today so i oh hello that's dexter he heard a fly so he's come running in to chase it you all right my love you saw one the other day. I'm straight. I'm not talking about nails anymore. We're done. We've got. We'll get. We'll get to when I do something different. I'll tell you. Um, he was chasing a fly yesterday and like going crazy looking for it, and then suddenly he bit the air and caught the fly. Didn't realise he'd caught the fly, and then could you keep the tip tapping to a minimum, please? <laughs> um, and then was looking around for it, like where did it go? Like it'd gone invisible and he'd gone insane. Um, and then he was doing that thing where they just sort of stick their tongue out going like bleh, 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 and realised it was there and uh, spat it out and then ate it again. How did we get here? I'm doing a star. I've done a star. So once I finished the pink, I did I did a full cure because we're going to paint on top of it. So I did the star, a dot and then pulling up, down, left, right and then did what I did in the last, the last time I did stars, um, which was a couple of videos ago and just curved the um where the dot where the lines come out the dot i just curved those areas so i i think i made it a bit too big this nail is so cute i love it um i think my sort of diamond part of the star was a bit big but not to worry i put i'm doing more stars now i put if the opportunity presents itself for me to fill a gap with a star it will be done. <laughs> I know I put stars on everything and people are probably thinking, stop with the damn stars, woman. But, you know, I just bloody love stars. So they'll go on everything. But you don't have to put stars on everything. I mean, this nail would be a plain nail if you didn't put stars on it. <laughs> but if that's what floats your boat. So I'm going to do, I'm kind of mixing star stars. Mm, that wasn't a helpful description, was it? I'm mixing galaxy stars like the white one we just did with this, which I'm going to call a star star. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to do one in every colour. And I've done, I think on all these nails, I've done like the first bit 
in normal speed and then kind of sped it up a bit because it's just the same thing over and over. So I do flash cure these as I go as well just to keep them in place. Um, and that's it with stars. If you like hearts, you could do it with hearts or you could, I don't know. I don't think any of these nails actually go together as a set. <laughs> Apart from the fact that they're all using the same colours, um, I think they kind of, I'm not sure whether they make a good set, it might be a bit much, but you could do an accent nail with one of them or, or one nail that's design on all ten. Make of the video what you will. Um, you do with it whatever you want. <laughs> How are you all? I hope you're all doing okay. We've got, after I've done this, I'm going to go and sit in the garden because the sun is back. We had a mini heat wave and then Mother Nature was like, whoops, my mistake, accidentally gave England some sunshine. So overcompensated by giving us like a week of just torrential rain. And then obviously she felt a bit bad about that because it is supposed to be summer. So now we've got sunshine again. So I'm going to sit in the garden and hopefully it will stay nice because I've got two of my best friends coming to uh, just coming down for the day tomorrow haven't seen them in about a year because they live back where I used to live which isn't where I live now um so I'm going to top up my tan my hair oh my goodness my hair has been in a scruffy bun today which it is pretty much every day not to be confused with a messy bun messy buns are cute and flirty whilst somehow still saying firmly in place mine is like a bale of hay that's just flailing around like a limp windsock on top of my head. It's so scruffy. <laughs> Other people who work in the beauty industry are normally sort of for work, all made up, lashes on, hair extension. I don't need hair extensions though because my hair is crazy long at the moment. I measured it the other day. <laughs> I happened to have a tape measure for whatever I was doing um, and thought, hmm, while I'm here, I'll measure my hair <laughs> from the center of my noggin to the end it's it was 68 centimeters which is about 26 27 inches i think for the seven people in the world who are yet to adopt the metric system <laughs> but yeah it's such a mess a number of winged creatures justifiably mistook it for some kind of nest or beehive or haphazard farmyard facility <laughs> it was a butterfly hoverflies, a wasp, the biggest, floofiest bumblebee I've ever seen. I'm a bit scared to let it down, lest there be a colony of bees or a small family of rodents living in there. <laughs> they take it down and they all just fall out in the middle of dinner, <laughs> covered in spaghetti and marinara sauce. <laughs> oh, I'm hilarious. Um... <laughs> So we are now doing some clouds and I'm just using a dotting tool for that. Just dot, dot, dot. And then I kind of lost the shape of them a bit. <laughs> so I'm going to, they end up getting a bit fatter than I had planned. Um, and then I'll cure those. I'm going to do this rainbow on here. And I, I wish I'd have changed the shape of it. I did the second cloud not right at the bottom because I wanted to sort of curl it round. But it kind of just looks like I've dedicated this nail to anyone whose name begins with S. So if that's you, this one is for you. I wish I'd have brought the swoop down a lot more at the bottom, but I didn't know how much room I was going to have. So that's that. And while I'm doing that, shall we get to... <laughs> shall we get to a lovers and haters? Let's! Lovers and haters, lovers and haters. Ba -da -da -ba 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 -da. Our first message of the day. Oh, this is brilliant. We had a comment from I I Cordy that said, lovers and haters, for us nail creators, we will give a heart for the nice shit, the rest can take the exit, we don't care what you say, we will all laugh at you anyway, we do our best and love our art, not our problem that you are boring and stale old fart, we love Joe's Nail Co, if you don't agree, feel free to fuck off and go. A here, a here. Thank you so much for that, I loved it, that was great. Um, our hater comment, it wasn't in English and I, I understood what it said, but I ran it through Google Translate because the last sentence didn't seem to make much sense. It said, No debería ser solo en inglés si los materiales ni salen los materiales escritos para al menos leer. Which Google translates to, 
It should not be only in English and the materials do not even leave the written materials to at least read. I do, I the everything I use, I put on screen and it's in the description box. So she'll iron. Um, but with regards to the language, I presume she means that there's no subtitles in other languages, but you can you can automatically generate subtitles in the language that is being spoken on the video, but you can't automatically, like I couldn't automatically generate Spanish subtitles unless I manually type up the transcript of what I say in English and make sure that it's um, all in the right place for when I say what, um, which I just don't, I don't really have the time to do. Um, and I can understand that that would be a bit frustrating. But at the same time, I wouldn't watch a film that's in Spanish with no English subtitles and moan that I can't understand it. So I don't know. I don't get it. I did reply um, in Espanol and I said, feel free to write the transcript in all 6,500 languages um, for every video. <laughs> And then I can just do subtitles for every language. And I'm sad because I did Spanish at school and I absolutely loved it. And now I know that someone who speaks Spanish has been annoyed by my video. Oh well, moving on. I'm now doing a second coat over the clouds. The Where we did the rainbows going into it. I mean, you could, you could have done the rainbows first and then the clouds. But I like to do two coats of white on something if it's a, a bigger than some small detail. I like to do two coats of white. So I did the second coat after we'd done the rainbow. And this way it's also going to sort of, it will, t it will, uh, estaba escondido en el arco iris. It will tuck, tuck the rainbow in. So I will add some more stars. And then this is for somebody who begins with S. This one's for you. Do you see what I mean? I could have bought the sort of drop of the rainbow at the bottom further down so it didn't look like a letter S. Um, but you put your clouds anywhere and do them any way you likes. And then topping it with diamond glass, of course, of course, which they are all topped with. And that is our S, rainbow S. Might be cool, actually, if you intentionally did it in a letter. Like if I'd have done it in a J or you know, whatever letter your name begins with. So I'm now going to do um, a star, a shooting star that's shooting from a rainbow. I started the star small, but I didn't like the shape. So I just kept getting bigger and bigger <laughs> until I was happy with the shape because I was too lazy to wipe it off and start again. Um, I was getting a bit by this nail. Is this the last one? I don't even think it is. No, it's not. By this time, I'm like, right, I'm sick of rainbows now. Um, so I was just, you can see it loses its shape and then I get a bit more shape and then I lose it again. So I just keep getting bigger and bigger. Um, thinking about, hello plane, don't mind me. Am I about to be bombed? Okay. Um, thinking about not obviously having, not, not being in the same language as what some people watching it might be in. Is it me or is 90% of what I say completely irrelevant and nothing to do with nails anyway? I like to think if things need explaining, like a certain technique needs explaining or if I need to explain why I've done something a certain way, that I do do that. But other than that, it's just me just talking a load of half the time. So uh, they're not missing out much, are they? Uh, I'm adding some rainbows now. Dexter's looking out the window like what the f was that noise just a plane he doesn't know what a plane is and there was a plane he uh, the other day and he's often here and it's this small plane it looks like it was built by the wright brothers and it does aerobatics so you see it flying around above you and then suddenly you just stop hearing it the engine switches off and you think oh nice peace and quiet again because where i live there's literally no noise apart from the sound of the sea um, and kids, if kids walk past being annoying and happy, um, then this, so the engine goes off and then you look up and you just see this plane like plummeting down whilst spinning around. It's amazing and terrifying at the same time. One day, if there's no video, it'll be because a plane landed on me while I was sunbathing. So these, um, rainbow bits I'm doing now, you could just do them in straight lines if you wanted to, um, make it a bit easier. But this is me, so I'm going to faff like a fucking champion. 
and I'm making the tails thicker. I think I got a bit too thick though because the purple one ends up coming right the way down to the bottom of the nail, but um, such is making things thicker. It's the liquid eyeliner effect, isn't it? You just keep getting bigger and bigger until you, you've got a black eye or you look like a panda. <laughs> leave it. Oh, leave it. Leave it. Oh, De oh such a bully. There was a pigeon just having a drink from Dexter's outside water bowl. And which means that I would have had to then change the water. And Dexter just saw him and just ran out. Get out of my bowl. Poor little pigeons. They actually live in one of the trees in my garden. They had babies recently. But they are at it all day long on the fence. Forget at it like rabbits. At it like pigeons is more apt. It's all they do. All they do. And they have this little dancing routine. Yeah, I watch. <laughs> I watch. Why not? Um, anyway, let's not talk about shagging pigeons. Um, I'm outlining the star with orange. It just looked a bit lost. And I, I, it probably would have looked better if I outlined it in black, but it would have been the only black on this set. So I went with orange. Although none of the nails really go together. Well, they do, but you know what I mean. So black would have been fine, but it, it would have been lost. Um, in my thumbnail, it would have stuck out like a sore thumb nail. Um, so another star and then and then the next nail <laughs> I really just ran out of rainbow idea keep it down my love it's over here doing a bloody tap dance um, I'm now what am I doing oh the next nail <laughs> the next nail I really did run out of ideas I often ask for you guys to give me some ideas for sets and I have um, got a list of ones to do like I've said before you have to be in the right sort of mood to do certain things otherwise it just won't go right um but some of the ideas i wish i'd have I'd, I'd have made note some of them are ever so niche um like i want different sorts of chairs that are antique uh on a campsite under a waxing moon mm, that might not appeal to many viewers um <laughs> That wasn't one of them. I just happened to be looking at a chair. It's not an antique chair. We don't do old antique stuff in this house. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's what came to mind. So I'm doing wiggles now. I've cured, I've, I think I did just half cure the pink. It's enough to hold a color in place and not drag through or, you know, pull with another color going over it. So I'm doing the same with all of those, just a half cure and then doing some wiggles. That one I decided was going to go under the orange but I think that's the only colour, the only time I thought, oh yes, let's have some going under other ones. So I think it's just that one that does that. <laughs> and then I'm going in rainbow order though, so I did, I'm sort of, you know, keeping it pink, then orange, then yellow, um, working its way down the nail. I have got, I do intend next week to get a lot of filming done. That's the plan. I often have this plan. It never pans out. Um, because the following week, I've got two of my nieces here and I suspect I won't have much time to really do anything um so i plan to film a lot next week however if it's sunny if it's sunbathe sunny i'm not sitting at my desk we have to make the most out of the sun over here we never know when it's going to come back you see so i'll probably just be um either in the garden or if it's not that sunny then i will get a lot of filming done uh, more stars crikey this woman and her damn stars and then this will be the last one. And as much as I thought this nail was a bit of a cop out because I just was done with rainbows, I actually quite like it. And I've added some dots. I added some dots on some others. Um, and then we're going to top that as well with diamond gloss. And I believe that is all of them. I hope you like this set. I think that nail might look cool as like all over um, as a full set like that and super easy. So give it a wiggle, have a look at it, and then here is them all together. Do they, do any of them go together? I, I think the first one is my favorite one. Forget the rest. Oh, and the one with all the stars. Oh, okay, they're all kind of cute. I don't know. Which one is your favorite? Please let me know. I would be interested to know if you like any of them. <laughs> if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You can follow Miss Joes on Instagram and TikTok. 
and you can subscribe on here for lots more videos. I appreciate you being here so, so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye, bye.